Hey, what's up? Nick Frosty here. And in this video, we are going to create our reset password form and our reset password page for our member system. Now, as I went over in the previous video, is I went over creating a forgot password page that a user doesn't have to be logged into or shouldn't be logged into, rather, to be able to reset their password. They have a random password generated, and then that password is then emailed to them, and then they can get it from their email and then log in. But after that, most people like to have their own password. Whether or not it's more or less secure is up to them. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create our own reset password page. Um, once the user's logged in, they can go to this page and change their password to whatever they would like. So we have our admin user logged in here. So in the member page here, we have our simple echo right here giving us some basic um, navigation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in another echo statement here. I'm going to put this on a new line. So I'm going to add in a break tag. And I'm going to create a new link. And the href or the location will be dot slash in the current directory. Then it will be reset pass.php. And we'll say reset your password. So if I refresh the page now, we have this reset your password link that will go to uh, resetpass.php. We need to create that resetpass.php now. So what I'm going to do is I am going to copy the member page and create that. So reset pass, open it up, change the title to reset pass word. So our reset password page, if we go ahead and go to it, uh, it's not going to change very much except our title because our content is exactly the same. So our content follows the same structure. So this page only should only be viewable to users that are logged in. So we want to keep this if statement in here. And that's why I just copied and pasted the entire file. So we can keep in that if statement and save a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep in this echo here saying you must be logged in to access this page. And I'm going to get rid of all this stuff in here. So inside of here, we're going to create an if statement, much like we did in the previous video on creating the forgot password page. We need to check to see if our um, our button on our form has been clicked, and obviously we haven't created that form yet. But we're going to name our button reset pass, and then we're going to create an echo statement afterwards, and we're going to create our form. So our form is going to have an action which is essentially the page that is that this is being submitted to which is going to be our reset pass.php and then we need to set our method to post which will make it so we won't pass any URL variables so then we need to create a simple table well you don't have to I guess um, but it makes it look a little bit more stylish we're going to create a simple table that will simply have our form elements in so our first form element will be um, our current password. So you enter in your current password. So this will be an input type of text. Our name will be pass. And then we're going to need to create another form element. This will be new password our type sorry our type will need to be password so it shows it sort of in the bulleted format so you can't actually see what users typing because um, it will be a little bit insecure our name will be new pass and we're going to go ahead and copy that again and this will be our confirm pass so confirm password so this is uh, you have to confirm your password to make sure you typed it in correctly and we'll name it confirm pass. Then we need to create one last form element. In this case, um, is going to be a submit button. So our input type equals submit to give us a button, and our our um, our form our our button name is reset pass. We're going to name it reset pass. We're going to set a value of reset password, and that will essentially create our form. So, if I refresh this page, you can see our current password is Nick Frosty. 
which obviously that's wrong. Our new password, our confirmed password, our form is created. We go ahead and type this in, and it clears everything up. And the reason this is filling in is because Google Chrome has its auto uh, auto completion feature turned on, and I have my password saved for my local host. So, what we need to do now is we need to get down to the business, if you will, in our reset password page. So this is um, the main the main code area. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get the form data. So we want to say we want to get our current password, which is our pass variable, and it's uh, we want to use the post array. And note that the post is in all caps. It must be in all caps, or else you will get errors. Then our name is path. We also want to get the new password, and the name is new path. Then we need to get our confirm password, and the name is confirm path. Pretty simple. Now we want to make sure. Um, make sure all data was entered. So we want to put in some if statements, checking for all of this info. So we want to say if pass. So if the password has been entered, then we want to run this block of code, whatever's in here. Pretty simple. Uh, standard if statement. Um, our echo will say, um, you must enter your current password. And then we're going to put in another if statement. And this will check for our new password, our new pass. Else, we want to echo something saying you must enter your new password. And then another if statement, checking for our confirm pass, or our confirm, I spelled that wrong, our confirm password. Else, we want to echo something along the same lines of this. So, oops. you must confirm your new password. So, after that, what we want to do is we want to make sure that our new password and our confirmed password, we want to make sure that they're the same. So, we want to put in another if statement, and we'll go ahead and throw in the else here, and the echo. Um, your new passwords did not match. So, to be able to make sure that our password, our new passwords are exactly the same, what we're going to do is we want to say if new pass equals equals equals, that's three equals, if new pass equals confirm pass, so if our if our confirm pass and our new pass are exactly the same, which is why we have three equal signs, because that will check for capitalization is the same and everything. So, if our passwords are the same, then what we want to do is we want to um, connect to our database and make sure that the current password is correct. And in which case, if it is, then we, we want to reset the password. Um, so, we are going to grab our password encryption there. So we want to encrypt our password and set it to password. And then we want to connect to our database, so require. And this is our connect file, so connect.php. And then we're going to go ahead and disconnect from the database, or close the connection. So connect to the database. And inside of here, we want to make sure make sure the password is correct. So we want to create a query and call the MySQL query function. So inside of here, what we want to do is this is essentially going to be the same query that we used in the login portion where, if I can find it, we check for our username and then we check for the password. Um, but to make this go a little bit quicker, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, select asterisks or select all from users where username equals equals our uh, username variable, so the current user that's logged in, and password equals our password variable. So it speeds it up a little bit and makes it so we don't have to add in as much code. So numrows equals mysql underscore num underscore rows, 
and we want to call our my or our query. So, the MySQL numrows function, as I've gone over in uh, countless previous videos, is that the numrows function will return obviously the total rows that are found from our query, and our query should only return one row if the password is correct. So we want to say if numrows equals equals one. So if the numrows function um, returns one, then um, then we can go ahead and reset the password. But if it doesn't, if it returns zero, that means the password is incorrect. So obviously we want to say um, your current password is incorrect. So after we do that, what we want to do is we want to encrypt the, the new password. So we can go ahead and just call this function again, and this will be new password. And we want to encrypt our new pass variable instead. So that will encrypt our new password. So encrypt There we go. So encrypt new password. So now what we're going to do is update the, dat the database um, with the new password. So to do that, we want to create a MySQL query. And uh, we don't need to set this in equal to a variable this time. Um, because uh, we are going to check with it a different way. So we want to say update users set password equal to our uh, new password variable and then where uh, username equals our username. So essentially what this is saying is we want to update our users table we want to set our password to our new password that has been provided and encrypted uh, where the username is the current user logged in. So the current user can reset their password. Don't forget to check out my website, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube.